Welcome back everyone, I am Ishan Sharma and in this tutorial of the Python programming language, we will be learning about what loops are. How does the for loop work? We will be talking about the syntax of the for loop and then we will also be solving some problems. Ok, well, we have some examples that I want to show you so that you can get a clear perspective of what the Python uh, for loop system works like. Ok, so yeah, let, let me just go through the iteration and what loops are. Basically loops is something that you are going over through again and again and again. Ok, so I will just give you an example. I uh, will also talk about the syntax, so I will just say for, this is the syntax of the for loop. I have for i in, this is the in uh, keyword in python which literally just means what it means in english and then you can write range range is a function that i'll talk about later but basically i can do this i can do let's just say 20 and then i can do something like this i have the colon over here and then i can say print i okay and then i can just run this as you can see, it pretty much just printed everything over here. It printed 0, 1, 2, 3. But one thing that you see is that it did not print 20. Okay, we have 20 over here. And that is what I want to explain to you what the range uh, function is. Okay, range function is basically giving you a list of uh, integers. Okay, so I have selected from 0 to 20. Okay, so this basically is uh, 0 is a starting point. 20 is a stopping point. Okay, and then uh, you can also include, this is optional, you can do a step. Okay, as you can see over here, it, it gives you a stop, a start and a step as well. This is going to be an integer. So I can just write one. Uh, this is uh, equivalent to just saying that uh, you just want to go over it one step at a time. Okay, you want to go from 0 to 20, 20 not included, okay, because we are stopping at 20. So we will only go until 19, we will not touch 20 exactly, but we will just revert back when we see 20, basically just the way to imagine it, right? Uh, you have 1 over here, which means you can step once one at a time, okay, if I can also do something like 2, and if I run this, and as you can see, we get all the even numbers from 0 to 20. 20 not included because that is the stopping point. Okay, that is to uh, be understood pretty well by you if you are using for loops in Python. Okay, uh, so yeah guys, this is just a pretty brief overview of how the for loop works. This is the, this is the pretty uh, simple syntax. Uh, and you, this is the range function. Again, uh, it just has a start, a stop, and then it has a step. Basically, that means that how what step you want to take. Do you want to take, uh, take one step at a time? Do you want to take two steps, three steps? You can just uh, play around with it and have a have an understanding about how this works. Uh, as you can see, I put four over there. So now it is going four steps at a time. Okay, and it took zero, four, eight, 12 and 16. Again, not including 20. What that means is that it is iterating between zero to 20. Once it takes zero, then Basically, what is happening inside of a for loop is that i here is becoming i plus 1. Okay, and because 1 is the step that we've chosen over here. If, if the step is 4, then this would become 4. Okay, pretty simple. Uh, I hope you got a, a rough understanding of how the for loops work. Okay, and uh, yeah guys, this is pretty simple to understand. Let me know if you're having any problems. But now I want to share with you an example. Okay, and for that example, I'll just uh, give you a small example, okay, I'll just say for i in range 50, okay, this 50 basically means that we are going from 0 to 50 one step at a time, that is pretty much understood, we are not uh, taking 50 into account because 50 is not included, okay, I can just say if uh, the numbers between 0 to 50, if uh, that i is divisible by, is divisible by uh, 4, let's just say, and that is equal to 0. Okay, that is just how you use uh, to check if a number is divisible by uh, some other number. In this case, that is 4. I can say print, uh, let's just say yo. And now if you go around this, this is uh, printing yo as many times as, uh, you know, this is getting divided by 4. And if that is true, then it prints yo. You can also print i over here. It will show you exactly which numbers they are. Okay, and again, as you can see, it printed 0, 4, 8, 12. You understood basically, right? Uh, this is a pretty simple example of how 
a for statement works you can have if statements inside of it you can have another for statement inside of it which makes it even more complicated uh, but you know this is just a pretty simple overview of how the for loop works now i just want to show you one uh, good example of using for loop and uh, that is something uh, inside of the project euler okay project euler is a website which will provide you a bunch of problems to solve uh, and these are mathematical problems that you can solve using whatever language you want to in this case we are using python okay and this is the first problem from project uh, euler or euler whatever you uh, pronounce it like okay this is the first problem and, and it says if we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5 we get 3 5 6 and 9 that is completely correct right if you have uh, 0 to 10 and you are uh, choosing multiples of 3 and 5 you get those numbers the sum of these multiples is 23 okay pretty much you just added 3 5 6 and 9 okay now uh, it is asking find the sum of all of the multiples of 3 and 5 below 3 or 5 okay 3 or 5 is, uh, is too important to understand below 100 or will below 1000 actually okay so what we can do here is that we can start off with declaring a variable that could be just a normal total and that could be uh, currently equal to 0 then i can do a for loop and basically i want to loop over as you can see we are uh, talking about below 1000 we are not including 1000 we are going below 1000 0 to 1000 right this is a for loop so i can write for i in range 1000 okay you can also do 0 comma 1000 but uh, i'm just simplifying it and this is next it is saying multiples of 3 or 5 okay multiples of 3 or 5 so we are putting a condition over here okay condition so i'm saying if i'm putting an if statement over here i say that if i is divisible by 3 so as you have seen in the previous example that i gave you divisible by 3 so that means this or we can use the or keyword like we use in english we can say i is divisible by 5 divisible by 5 and it is going to be equal to 0 then what we want is that we want to print what do you want to do Okay, so now what we have to do is that we have to look at the total. Okay, the total that I declared over here. Okay, this the value right now is zero. What I will do right now is that I will just take it and I will equate it to its value plus i. Okay, this i is a number between zero to thousand, not including thousand. Okay, and we are going one step at a time. Okay, and we are checking if it is divisible by three or it is divisible by five. okay and then we are just uh, adding it to the total right and uh, yeah i think this is pretty simple now you can just print yes print total okay so yeah let's just see if this works or not and voila we got it guys we got 23000 or like what 233168 that is the answer i hope you gain some insight into how you should solve problems problem solving is very important to understand okay like it doesn't matter how much syntax you know if you don't know how to solve a problem you will not be able to actually understand the language okay this is a very powerful uh, website i will link it in the description go check it out solve the problems you will learn a lot about uh, the python language or whatever your language you want to use okay so yeah guys this is just uh, an understanding a brief overview of how the for loop works I hope you learned something from this if you did make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and uh, yeah let me know what all uh, tutorials you want to have in what languages I'll try my best to cover those as well but uh, yeah guys uh, also I want to just mention this one quick thing and that is this i is not the only thing that we can put here okay i is just a placeholder i is just a placeholder for uh, a number between 0 to 1000 Okay so what you can also do is that you can just you can literally do this an underscore over here okay this is not a good practice but i'll just show you an underscore over here and then underscore over here basically this is just a placeholder that you are using i can have another placeholder over here and it doesn't really matter okay you got the same answer 
so this is something important to understand people think that you will always have to use i it doesn't matter it is just a placeholder um so yeah make sure that you understand that thank you so much for watching see you in the next one till then keep coding guys